what's up guys? Today's video is on the new Olight Odin GLM. Let's unbox it. Now before we get into the video, let's talk about the Christmas sale. It's going from December 12th to the 16th, up to 50% off of certain items. In the entire website, it's gonna be 15% off. You can also get free shipping on anything over $29. And they also have a limited edition i1R2 Pro in dark red for only $4.95. Again, that's only through the sale. However, if you miss that sale, you can still get 10% off anything on the website besides the X9R using the coupon code APARMS, link in description. So this here is the new Olight Odin GLM. It's a rifle mounted light. It uses an M-Lock 45 degree mount and it also has quick detach. The mount is also compatible with all Surefire Scout mounts. So no matter what mount you wanna run, even if it's not the one included in the box, shouldn't be a problem some of the features of this light. Up front, you have your strike bezel. Underneath that is the lens and the reflector. But if you look at this lens, it is coated. And also, if you look underneath the reflector, you can see the main LED in the middle, as well as that green laser. Now that green laser, is not just for show. It's fully adjustable using the windage and elevation screws. So after you get it mounted up to your rifle, get some rounds to it, and you can sight it to be dead on accurate. Further up front is the mode selection ring. Right now, have it in the light only mode. Turning it is light plus laser. Then turned all the way, laser only. Further down the light, right here is the mount. This is removable, has two small Allen screws in there, and it also has two other mounting holes there for using different mounts. Talking about the mount, this is the 45 degree M-Lock mount that's included in the box, and it is also a quick detach mount. After you get it mounted into the rifle, you have a little thumb screw here, lock, and unlock. Put it into unlock, depress it, and slide it on. Then you can lock the thumb screw, and it's secured on there. Release it, just turn the thumb screw, press it, slides right out. Further down to the tail switch. This is a dual mode tail switch. Light press, it gives you the low mode. Press it in further and you get the high mode. And this tail cap also has the new groove here, corresponding with the new pressure pad. This is a new design for Olight. It's got two buttons here. Small button up top is the low mode. Large button down below is the high mode. But what makes this special, and what works with this groove here, is it is locking. Fully magnetic, locks right on there, and it pops right off, easy. But, however, you can push the locking ring up, and now it's not going anywhere. That is a really important feature, and that's something that is mandatory for me on all my weapon lights. And then you can see, low mode, high mode. And this switch, feels really nice. No matter what part you hit, always gonna activate the light. Removing the switch is also super easy. Unclick it, pull it off. Simple as that. 
Now when you unbox these, you're supposed to charge them before you use them. But I usually like to see if they come with any charge from the box. And the first thing I noticed when I turned this on was the new vibration motor for the battery status. It will actually vibrate at different levels depending on how low your battery is. So say it vibrates once, that means your battery's starting to get low. Vibrates twice, it's getting really low, and so on. Underneath this tail cap, you can see that there's a lot of grease in there and you also have a super thick rubber o-ring for your waterproof seal. Inside the light is your massive 5,000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. Although after you take this off to remove the little plastic thing here for shipping, you'll never need to take the tail cap off again. All the charging can be done through the tail cap using the magnetic charger that's included in the box. It also has a charging indicator built into the charger. When you connect it up, it'll turn red. When it's fully charged, it'll turn green. Now let's get into some of the specs on this light. It's got a max brightness of 1500 lumens, maximum throw of 215 meters, and it's got a maximum runtime of six and a half hours, starting in high mode. It's gonna be that full 1500 lumens for the first two and a half minutes. After two and a half minutes of constant on, it'll drop down to 550 lumens and that'll last 168 minutes. After that, if the light is still on, which I don't know why it would be, but after that 168 minutes, it'll drop down again to 300 lumens for an additional 20 minutes. Now in low mode, full brightness on low mode is 300 lumens, and that's where you can get that insane six and a half hour runtime. Not sure why anyone would need that, but it's nice to have it. And the throw for low mode is 95 meters. Pretty decent for only being 300 lumens. If you cut the laser on, that'll change your run times a little bit, not a whole lot. 1500 lumens still will last a full two and a half minutes. Then it'll drop down to 550 again, but with the laser on, it only lasts an additional 155 minutes, not the 168 without the laser. So instead of dropping down to 300 and lasting 20 minutes, it'll cut off another five minutes and it will only last 15 minutes at 300. Now again, if you're using momentary on on the switch or on the cap here, every single time you turn the light off, it'll reset those timers. So as long as you're only cutting it on momentarily, you shouldn't have to worry about it. The only thing that'll kill your brightness levels will either be thermals or the battery. This light has a drop test rating of one and a half meters, it's IPX4 waterproof, and it's got a weight of 7.9 ounces with the battery. It's got a length of just under six inches and a width of 1.14 inches. And that width is for the head of the light. If you go to the body, it's 1.05. So theoretically, if you didn't want to use the mount, you could unbolt it and stick a one inch ring mount on there. So let's get this light out at night, run it through the modes, see how it does, see how bright it is, and then we can pull out the rifle, get it mounted up, and see what that looks like. Here we are at night with the Odin GLM. Turning it on to low mode, this is the 300 lumen mode, and you can see just for being 300 lumens, it's still extremely bright. This is a great indoor setting. 1500 lumens inside your house at night is gonna blind you. So that 300 lumen mode gives you a really nice brightness for room clearing, home defense, that sort of thing. When you step outside though, you're gonna want that 1500 lumen mode. It gives you that full 215 meter throw. So turning that on here, you can see that the hotspot is super tight, really nice and bright. Again, guys, this is 1500 lumens. This is a crazy bright light. Color is a little bit warmer, more of a natural color. And the spill is super consistent and even, even with the interrupted cut in that reflector for the laser. I don't notice that at all, which I'm surprised about. Did a really good job on that. Speaking of the laser, let's turn the switch to the middle position. And now entering low mode, you can see just how bright that laser is. This laser is actually super bright. Right. and that green color really stands out. Turning it on high mode, you can still easily see that green laser. You can clearly see it in the camera, but in real life, trust me, it's super bright. And at distance, I'm sure you'll have no problem seeing it. Let's turn the ring again. Now we're in the laser only mode. Clicking in the tail cap, there's obviously no high and low settings for this. It's just laser on and off, but you can really see how crazy bright that laser is. I would have no issues taking this out at night and hitting targets at 100 yards with it. All right, guys. Now we have it mounted up on a rifle here. This is an awesome setup. Obviously, rifle here, 
fully unloaded, no magazine in there. But check out this fitment. Got the mount up here, looks perfect. It was super easy to install. If you've ever used m -Lock before, it'll be no issue for you. Little knob here, locks it in position. The placement of this light on this 13.7 rail is absolutely perfect. That keeps all the garbage that comes out of the flash hider off your lens. It also gives you no shadow of the barrel in the beam. And with this mount, you can see that it's absolutely perfect. I have a front backup iron sight, plenty of clearance, no issues working there. And onto the pressure pad, I have it set up with the high button forward and the low button backwards. That makes the natural grip right on that high. And if you need the low, you can reach back super easily and hit it. And in the box, they give you two small zip ties. If this was a permanent setup, you were never taking it off, you could easily run one zip tie here, one zip tie on the back, and that cable's not going anywhere. Locking cable again. If you snag anything on it, it's not gonna rip it off your light. You're not gonna have any issues when you need it. And whenever you need to charge the light, you still have super easy access to the charging port. Unclip, take it off, charge it right through there. Put it back on, lock it on, it's not going anywhere. That's one of my favorite features. No needing to take off tail caps, no needing to replace batteries. Just pop off that switch, connect your charger, and you're good to go. And overall, this is just an awesome rig. And without sighting it in, that laser is almost perfectly set up with my red dot. It almost co-witnesses perfectly. The way it's mounted, if you need to access the settings, it's right on top of everything. Twist it, you have your three settings there. And you also have your elevation and windage screws right there. So you can sight in that laser and have it be dead on. So overall, if you want a combo light and laser, this might be your best option. Less than $150 on sale, it's a really good deal for what you get. The mount is super secure. And on this mount, if you wanna lock it up permanently, you can tighten these two screws here and that bypasses the quick detach and makes it a rock solid option. But yeah, overall opinions, I really like this a lot. Pressure pad is awesome. Got the two modes. It's mounted firmly onto this rail. It's not moving around at all. And the locking cable makes this a really reliable option. Not gonna have to worry about that cable popping off. This might be staying on my rifle permanently. It's definitely gonna be a hard consideration here. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, be sure to hit like, helps out a lot. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. I'm trying to put out one video a week. Remember, you can get 10% off this like if you missed a sale. You can get 10% off anything on the Olight web store using the coupon code APARMS. That link will be in the description. So anyway guys, thanks for watching.